hoping to make this video count as two technically. Um, for one, we're going to learn how to solder. And for two, this is also going to be part one to a series I plan on doing of how to make WLED D1 mini boards. I hope somebody finds this useful. Thanks. First thing I want to show you is why you don't want to just solder the uh, D1 Mini directly to the PCB. Because if you do that, you see it's permanent. You have to just throw the whole board away if the, uh, the D1 Mini has issues or whatever. I like to make as many parts exchangeable as possible. So what I suggest doing is this. You put the uh, male headers onto the D1 Mini, then you put the female headers onto the PCB. That way, as you see right here, you can just pull it right out if the D1 Mini goes bad or if it needs programming or whatever. It just makes it uh, easier if things are interchangeable in my opinion. Now we're going to go ahead and set our soldering gun to like 660, 675-ish. What we're going to do here is see with this flux, I mean, sorry, yeah, with this, you don't, you don't have to do that. This is just a habit I have. But, um... Now what I like to do when I solder is I like to just solder the very first pin of the main device on both sides right here as an example. That way I can flip it over and make sure that the female piece and the female headers are flush and then I can push them down and solder it in, locks it into place. Once you got that done we'll go ahead and continue and uh, do the remainder of these joints. Alright, you see that now that we're done with all the uh, all the solder joints, we just want to make sure that they're all like almost TP looking. Um, just want to make sure they have that nice little shape to them. And then now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and attach our um, PCB terminals. Sorry, my son was distracting me in the background. As you can see, he's trying to tell me he needs another Capri Sun. <laughs> but um, anyway, you see that I have a 3, a 2, and a 2. Now, what I plan on doing with these is, the 3 is going to go to the LED strips, and then the 2 and the 2 are, the red one will be the power in, and the blue one will be the um, auxiliary power. What I like to do is I like to smash them down with pliers, as you just saw, and then we'll go ahead and test it, and you'll see what I mean. And I see everything fits on there pretty good. Take the board back off. We'll go ahead and flip it over, and I guess we'll go ahead and solder the PCB, I mean solder the terminals. Now you might have to turn it up a little bit, as you can see I turned it up to about 700 because these uh, terminals, um, these pins are a little bit thicker than the other ones. I was trying to do it at 675, it, just, it was just not working for me, so. Anyway, I know these are a little bit sloppy, but you get the point. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and measure, cut, and strip our wires. Now what we need is to put the board back on here so we can see exactly which pins go to where so we know exactly how long to make them. And you see the first one is 5 volts, then there's the ground, and then there's the D4 pin. Now WLED by default uses the D4 pin. So we're going to go ahead and do the red. We're going to do black the same length because this is going to go from the board to the uh, 5 volts in. And the green will be the same way because this again is that D4 pin that I just discussed earlier that this will actually go to the LEDs. Or blue I guess. And we'll go ahead and strip the ends off. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, speed up through this whole measuring and stripping your wire portion because pretty time consuming. Alright, now that we've measured, cut, and stripped all of our 22 gauge solid wire, we're going to go ahead and uh, put them 
where we want them to go and we're going to go ahead and solder them and you see what I'm doing here is I'm putting the positive which is the red to the one terminal while I'm also putting the negative to the other terminal on the red one and you'll notice that on the other side I'm doing the same thing with the three pin blue one but the additional pin I'll be putting the D4 blue and then for the two pins that are by themselves I'll be doing another positive and negative just because you never know or if you have a very long run and you need an additional um, five volts that meets maybe halfway down you could do that here see what I'm doing now is what I did earlier is I'm kind of cleaning up my solder joints I am now that I've got all the wires connected what I'm doing now is I'm going through and pretty much holding the wires with one side of my finger and I'm pushing down as I touch the soldering iron to the solder joint that way I'm able to push the wire all the way to the edge that way there's no um, chance for open circuits or grounds or, or um, cross wires or anything like that that's all avoided by doing this again there might be a better way this is just the way I prefer to do it all right now all we got left is to uh, go ahead and trim the excess uh, wire from the 22 gauge and that's it I hope I helped at least one person learn how to solder a day and if I've earned it, then like and subscribe. Otherwise, don't. Have a good day. Thanks.